Tonight, the woman's story of survival and frustration as she continues to navigate the court system. Her story, just one of many being told in Geauga County tonight, is part of National Crime Victims Awareness Week. Emma Henderson reports. Dozens walk around Chardon Square honoring survivors and remembering victims of violent crime. I've screamed at the top of my lungs in the courtrooms to be heard and to um, gain justice. This is how Mary Dolphin describes her five year fight to escape abuse. She says it started around 2017. She filed a protection order, it was violated. Her ex husband was jailed and put on parole. That was violated five times, according to Dolphin. And then, while drunk and with a gun that violated parole, he shot and killed another woman. Dolphin believes this could have been prevented. It's just really hard to believe that I tried to tell the people that he was so dangerous and that this would happen, but it's too late for his victim. It's time to stop blaming victims. Stop blaming the abused. Stop victimizing us. It's time to own up to the fact that this system in place isn't working. I met Mary Dolphin. She was introduced today by victim advocate Tracy Jordan with the Geauga County Sheriff's Office. Someone who continues to help as she navigates being a survivor and knowing her rights. Dolphin says the most frustrating part of the process is that each time her abuser would violate parole or a protection order, it was on her to take the time, submit paperwork, and call the proper authorities trying to prove it. That's why she says being believed and making the system easier is vital to helping survivors like her. Russ? Emma Henderson in the newsroom. Thank you.